When most people think of acne, they think of the small red bump. The red color is not the acne itself, but the body's reaction to the acne as white blood cells fight off the bacteria in the skin. During bad cases of acne, this can take some time and can actually cause a cyst to develop, which is known as cystic acne. During extended battles between the bacteria and white blood cells, pus can begin to develop. Pus is a thick substance comprised of dead skin cells, white blood cells, and bacteria, and is a visible sign of infection. In the case of acne, it accumulates just under the skin, forcing the area to expand into a pimple. Cystic acne is most common on facial skin, but also frequently occurs on the chest, shoulders, back, and upper arms of many people. Once the pimple becomes filled with pus, it is considered a cyst, and someone with multiple cysts is known to have cystic acne. When it gets to this point, the pimples can be very painful, especially when touched, and are also very noticeable. Many people will squeeze the cyst in an attempt to pop the pimple. In reality, this generally makes matters much worse, as it irritates the skin and promotes the spread of acne causing bacteria. In extreme cases, Cystic acne can even cause permanent and sightly scars. There are many different known causes of cystic acne, and fortunately many of them are under your control. One major cause of acne is poor diet, especially when it comes to vitamin A, which has been proven to be effective in warding off cystic acne. Make sure you eat plenty of vitamin A-rich foods, such as fruits, vegetables and liver. In addition, taking a cod liver oil supplement, and a multivitamin every day will ensure your body has the nutrients it needs to fight off the acne bacteria. Another major cause of acne is stress. It has been proven that high levels of stress cause certain biochemical reactions in the skin that can lead to the formation of cystic acne. Try to keep your stress level as low as possible, and make sure you get plenty of sleep. Lack of sleep can add to your stress further worsening the problem. Keeping your face clean is probably the most important part of preventing acne, but there are some things to keep in mind. Using a harsh or unfamiliar soap on your face can actually promote the formation of cysts, so make sure you use a mild facial cleanser that works well for you, and stick with it if you are trying a new one. Test it out in a small area on your face that is less noticeable, like just under your chin. If no cysts or irritation develops in the next 24 hours, you should be safe to use it on the rest of your face. Always make sure you wash your hands before washing your face or applying acne treatments. If you have oils or dirt on your hands you could actually cause more acne cysts to develop rather than preventing them. Taking a bath with Epsom salts and chamomile in the water can soften the skin, prevent cysts from forming, and help reduce your stress levels at the same time, further compounding its effectiveness. There are many different over-the-counter topical acne treatments, but unfortunately they are rarely effective at combating cystic acne. These topical medications, such as benzoyl peroxide and salicylic acid only treat the surface of the pimple and do not target the cause of the problem. In many cases, they actually cause more inflammation and redness in the affected area, since they are generally quite harsh and irritate the skin even more. In addition, most over-the-counter remedies do not address the biochemical causes of acne and instead focus on the symptoms, ultimately prolonging the outbreak. For more serious cases of acne, you will need to see a doctor and obtain a prescription for more potent cystic acne medication. There are several oral antibiotics that are commonly prescribed, such as erythromycin and tetracycline. These medications have been commonly prescribed for mild to severe cases of acne for years. They work to reduce the population of bacteria on the skin which reduces inflammation. Patients usually start off with a higher dose which is cut down as the acne subsides. For very serious cases of cystic acne, a powerful oral retinoid such as azot retinoin may be prescribed. These oral retinoids have been proven successful in treating even the most extreme cases of cystic acne as well as cases of acne that is resistant to other more common medications. When a cyst becomes extremely inflamed, many dermatologists will inject it with a corticosteroid. 
This injection reduces the inflammation and promotes quick healing to avoid permanent scarring. In many cases, the dermatologist may combine different therapies in order to provide you with the most complete treatment possible. By utilizing several different methods, you can combat multiple causes of cystic acne at the same time, reducing the length of the attack. Continuing to eat well and bathe often while keeping stress levels at a minimum will help prevent future outbreaks of acne from occurring.